Um, let's go. Possible by Skillshare. Start learning anything for free for two months. People said I should watch this. A lot of people are into this. Real life lore let's go. 14. This is my bit dollar? Every country is the best or the worst at something. So what is your specific Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Krieger with the 26. Jesus. Guys, we're watching a video. Stop subbing. Thank you, Krieger. Thank you. Guys, I miss World of Warcraft. Should we... Hmm. I'm still oh, here, my boy Tommy la, 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 the world. Facebook. Half of the countries in the world are in this video, while the next half will be in next week's video called Part 2. So we'll continue in alphabetical order by going to Afghanistan first. Which for Okay, we have to always say, what are countries best in the world? What is Afghanistan? I mean, haha, ha, funny, terrorism, ha ha ha. Go to just chatting. True, true, true. I want to always say your opinion, just chatting. Afghanistan, well, opium, very true. Opium farms, true opium. But the, the the maker of this video is probably not gonna say that. Um, opium, what is Afghanistan good at? I know nothing about the industry, but yeah, opium is very strong. Good food. Let's take a look. Produces the most opium in the world. Ninety percent <laughs> of world heroin contains opium produced here. Albania. And I wonder how much of that went to Americans. Anyway, Albania. Ah, uh, I know that when the Iron Curtain fell, Albania was very good at dealing guns because they had a shit ton of guns left from the Ost block. Uh, drugs, mafia, weed, car mafia. A lot of mafia, true has the highest number of military bunkers per capita in the world. There are 5.7 bunkers every square kilometer, or one bunker for every 18 people in the country. What Algeria the fuck? Is Algeria, Algeria, uh... <sighs> we're, 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 no, we're not, we're talking about industry. What are they best at? The question is, what are they best at? Don't tell me what you think. Like, sand? That's a dumb answer, sand. The question is, what are they the best at? Send is a shitty fucking answer. Oil? I actually have no idea. Is the largest country in the world which has 0% of their territory made up of water. Andorra has the- Wow. That's what you're best at? Andorra, probably good with Texas. The highest life expectancy in the world at an amazing 81.1- .1. Holy shit, I never knew that. I thought it was like Japan or something. Wow. In years, Angola has the- Angola. Blood diamonds? The highest infant mortality rate in the world. Okay, that's a- uh, okay. <laughs> That's what they're best at, really? At 96 deaths for every 1,000 births. Jesus. Antigua and Barbuda... Who? What? ...has the lowest suicide rate anywhere in the world and was the only country in 2015 to not report a single suicide. Wow. Wow. Maybe it's so beautiful there that no one wants to kill themselves. Like, it's just too beautiful. Argentina has... Uh, steak... Hiding Nazis? That's it. Cows and steak and shit, beef and shit, right? It's the highest consumption of yep. beef per capita, with oh, people that's consuming an dude. average 65.2 kilograms wow, per year. Alta. 65 per year on average, Alta? What? Mania has the longest non-stop cable car ride that stretches for 5.6 kilometers in length. Sorry, is that still Argentina? Mania has the long Romania? Assuming an average 65.2 kilograms per year. Armenia has the longest non-stop oh, cable car ride. Armenia, you need to show that. 5.6 kilometers in You need to show that. Australia has the... Australia is known for... They have a big steel industry, which kills actually the environment there. Dude, what is... What is... I actually know nothing. Wine? Highest recorded number of fatal shark attacks, reporting 259 fatal incidents. It's actually very since low, right? 260 people died Meanwhile, since 1900s. That's very low. While Austria has the most paid. Austria is known for. <sighs> yeah, rich people. How's that? They probably have a high income per head. Time off for employees in the world up to 43 days per year. 43 days per year off, and they're still rich. What the fuck? They're living in 2100 over here. Azerbaijan has the 
Uh, fuel. Largest percentage of territory covered by mud volcanoes. About half of all mud volcanoes in the world are located here, so congratulations. Congratulations. The Bahamas probably shit ton of tourism. Lowest business tax rate in the world, 0%. While Bahrain has the lowest individual tax rate in the world, also 0%. Thank Hey, maybe I shall check out some apartments over Bangladesh there. Bangladesh has the most rivers in the world. There are over oh, yeah, 700 I didn't know that. inside the I'm country. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop stopping. Belarus, fucking dictatorship, dude. Dictatorship, par excellence, and the EU is doing fucking nothing about it, man. It's a joke. Amount of alcohol consumed per capita well, in that the world. Garment, you need to drink, man. Five liters are consumed per person. I need to stop though. Deep fried, thank you, man. Per year, Belgium, meanwhile. It's, I know nothing about the world. What does Belgium know for? Cheese, I think? No. Cheese is like waffles. Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. Fries and chocolate. Isle has the highest individual tax rate in the world, up to 64%. You go to work to give 64% away? Poh. Oh. 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 <laughs> that spicy mama. Bhutan. Uh, thank you, Sergi, my bro. Bhutan? Uh, uh, Himalaya. As the largest percentage of their population involved in agriculture, over 80% of the population. Bolivia is the largest pro uh, drugs. producer of Brazil nuts, so again, congrats. While Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia is known for. They are very good taxi drivers. Bos what is Bosnia known for? Mines, drugs, the most mines. Bosnia has the largest number of landmines per capita in the world. 152 landmines for every square oh, kilometer of shit. the country. Oh shit! Congratulations, Botswana is the world's oh, largest blood producer of diamonds, and Brazil has the most FIFA World Cup victories with. <laughs> Dude, you could have 20 World Cup victories. What you did last time is a fucking disgrace. 7-1 in the chat. Brazil is known for... burning down the Amazon rainforest. Five total wins so far. Stop stopping? Brunei. What you gonna do about Brunei. it? What you... what you gonna do about it? Brunei? In the world, and Bulgaria is the world's... Yeah, and now we didn't listen to Brunei because of you. You fuck. Bulgaria, shittiest focus tree. Largest producer of rose oil. Burundi has the lowest GDP per capita, just 200. Oh, Burundi is the weakest? I didn't know that. Thank you, sup. Thank you, man. $177 per person per year. Cambodia is the most Buddhist country in the world at about 97% oh, of the population, while Cameroon has the highest business tax rate in the world, 38.5%. Canada is the most educated country in the world, with really? 54% of the population completing some form of tertiary education. Meanwhile, the... Is that so good, though? When when a large chunk of your uh, population is university educated, a lot of lower sector jobs are gonna be missing out and stuff. Central African Republic is ranked as the least happiest country in the world. <laughs> Chad has the highest maternal death at childbirth ratio, oh, and shit. Chile has the record for the strongest recorded earthquake, a 9.5 on the Richter scale. What does a 9.5 feel like? Is, is there like that? Is, that is unimaginable. 9.5 earthquake simulation. That's not that bad. Nothing is falling. Well, I'm probably, yeah. But I, I wouldn't have imagined harder. It gets, it gets worse. It gets worse. Can you survive? If I ever have a body type like this, man, I knew I did something wrong. Hey, no shit talking, just for me personally. I mean, yeah, it's heavy, but I, I felt that 9.5 is like, like fucking 2020 kind of shit. You know, the fucking everything rips open. I'm not impressed.
That's fake? Yeah, that's why it's called simulation. China produces the most CO2 emissions of any country, but also produces the most gross renewable energy in the world. Colombia oh. is the largest producer of cocaine, producing 495 tons in 2015. The Democratic Republic of the Congo has the highest percentage of its population suffering from undernourishment, 75%. Dude, every time he goes to an African country, it's just really bad shit. The next door, Republic of the Congo, meanwhile, consumes the least electricity in the world. Oh. Costa Rica has the highest environmental happiness among their citizens. But yeah, I saw that in a documentary with Zac Efron on Netflix. Costa Rica is really good with our environment. They have, like, certain laws and communities there that do really... Check out the Zac Efron documentary on Netflix. I know when you hear Zac Efron, you're like, Whoa, what? He's a high school musical guy. The documentary is amazing, man. Really good. While Cote d'Ivoire is the largest producer of cocoa at one third of the global supply. Croatia, mm. meanwhile, leads. What the fuck's Croatia known for? Leads the world in the number of kidney transplants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Woo! Amazing! While Cuba has the most baseball World Cup victories with 25 gold medals, Cyprus has. Wait. Cuba has more baseball wins than America? the oldest woman who ever paraglided who is 104 years that is the old. most and random the Republic is the most atheist country in the oh, world really? at 75 that's very modern i think the entire population wow that's so interesting everyone is so catholic like poland very religious and then czechoslovakia che sorry i always say czechoslovakia which is also is europe has di how is that culture how can you s how does it make sense you guys always know about history why is that a thing and don't tell me communism. The whole uh, Poland also had communism. It's the beer? Luther? That would mean they were Protestants. Huh? Jan Hus started it. Communism and Jan Hus. There was a guy who was like pushing that stuff to not be religious. Yeah, but if you say communism did this, why is Poland not 75% atheist? Why is Romania not 75% atheist? Cool, man. Hmm. Denmark is ranked as the least corrupt country in the world, and Ecuador cool. has the most biodiversity per square kilometer of any country on also Earth. Cool. Egypt is the most heavily mined country with over 23 million active mines, while Eritrea 23 million mines. Eritrea has the highest number of child workers. Estonia has the most women per man in the world. 0 0.84 men for every one woman. Ethiopia has the You know what to do, non-subs. You know what to do. The most expensive internet in the world. And Fiji has the best performance at the Rugby World Cup 7s, winning twice. Oh, Finland I never knew. has the highest coffee consumption in the world at 2.64 of that. coffee per day. Well, Finnish people are depressed as fuck because there's never there's never sun there. Per person. France, at the same time, is the most visited country on the planet. Oh, this is very interesting. Also didn't know that. Makes sense. France is the most visited country in the world. Wow. Makes sense. It's just funny when you hear it. I mean, who else? You could say Italy, Spain, but it makes sense. Makes sense. More like Paris? Fuck Paris, man. I know this looks beautiful, but once you walk among these... Fuck Paris, man. I hate Paris. She received 80... Paris is... Always acting so beautiful, but once you're really in Paris and you look behind the scenes, man, it's so dirty. 6.3 million tourists in 2015 alone. Gabon has the highest number of sun-tailed monkeys, and Gambia is ranked as the least militarized country on Earth. Oh. Georgia is the largest producer of kachapuri, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing. Whoa, that looks amazing! What? Kachapuri? Wait, wait, wait. B pronounce that. That looks insane! I want to do this on stream. Please pronounce it. Kacha. Kacha Puri. That looks insane. Cheese bread. Oh. Oh, we should do that on stream. Dude, remind me when the cooking stream starts. Wow. Oh. Someone else has water in their mouth? Incorrectly, Jeez. and 88% of their population prefers it over pizza. Oh. Germany has won the most Winter Olympic medals in history. And I 
did not know that. I would think some Scandinavian country did that. Greece has the highest consumption of olive oil at 26.1 kilograms per person per year. Guatemala is the largest producer of the spice called cardamom, while Guinea has huh. the world's largest aluminum ore reserves. Guyana has the highest suicide rate in the world for women. 15.5 suicides for every 100,000 women. Haiti Why has though? the world's smallest military with only 50 total soldiers. <laughs> and Honduras has the highest murder rate in the world oh. at 84.6 people murdered per 100,000. Meanwhile, tell. Hungary has the highest per capita number of porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> I salute you hungry man, you guys. Good job. And Iceland has the highest percentage <laughs> of internet users. 92% of the population is connected to the internet. Iceland India is amazing. produces the most movies in the world at 1,255 films oh, in no. 2011, while Indonesia has the shortest average height in the world. 5 feet 2 inches for men and 4 Shit. feet 10 inches for women. Iran has the largest number of former capital cities, 32. It's such a, it's such random information, but it's such good information. So, I mean, figure it out, guys. And Iraq has the highest number of terrorist activities in the world. Ireland has won Eurovision the most times of any country, seven times. While Israel spends the most amount of time on social media, 11.1 wow, hours never fought. per person per I month. I would have never fought. Italy has the largest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, oh, 51 in total. Man. While Jamaica is home to the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt. Japan has the highest number of three three-star Michelin restaurants 30 true I just googled that I was I just did that last week I uh, mean every Wednesday today today Wednesday uh, there's a cooking show on German TV that we love and I'm really interested in in I've always been interested in successful people and I've been googling the three-star Michelin cooks in the world and I wanted to see where they are and stuff and it's so funny when you let me show you this is kind of what I'm interested in private uh three-star Michelin uh, restaurants. Uh, I was googling this because three stars is very rare. Like two stars, one star, okay. But three is crazy. And I've been googling this and I'm like... So I'm checking this. Austria has one. Belgium, Denmark, France. Pretty good, pretty good. And you think France will be number one, right? Germany, oh, okay. Hong Kong, mm -hmm, Italy. And then Japan. Bro, Tokyo is so... Tokyo is such a big cooking city. I never fucking knew... And this is kind of what I'm interested in. Do you know how hard it is to keep three stars for 12 years? That is so fucking mental, dude. Jeez, man. Only one in Norway. So crazy, man. Norway has only one three star and Japan this. And Italy and France has more. That really shows you food culture. What That some countries just have much more food culture than others. One total, and Jordan has the lowest point below sea level, negative 428 meters. In addition today. to being the School. number one exporter of in potassium, depressed. Kazakhstan has the highest consumption of salt in the world. Yeah, they're so salty because of Borat. They hate that movie. Kenya is the world's largest producer of black tea, and Kuwait has the world's highest valued currency, the dinar, only one of which is equal to 3.3 US dollars. Meanwhile, Latvia has the highest literacy rate in the world at 99.9% .9 of their population, nice. while Lebanon has the highest number of refugees per capita. There is oh, one I refugee for every five citizens that lives Damn. in the country. Meanwhile, Lesotho... Thank you, Superman. What's Very your opinion nice. about shut up about that? Produces the highest percentage of their electricity from renewable energy. Nice. 100% of it. Liberia wow. has the highest number of wow. deaths caused by the Ebola virus. Libya has statistically the most dangerous roads to drive on in the world. And finally, Liechtenstein is the only country in the world you can actually rent for the totally affordable price of $70,000 per night. What would you do with an entire country you rented out for a few nights? You could what? host your own concert for the country's 37,000 residents, but for that, you'd actually need to know a little bit about music production and audio work, and what better pl- Fuck off. Did you- uh, You can buy Liechtenstein for one night? Guys, I think we have a new sub goal. What? Let's watch the second part, man. Let's this get it out, and then we play Mafia and finish it. Dude, you can buy Liechtenstein? Video is made possible by Tab for a Cause. Install their free browser extension by clicking the link in the description to help raise money for a charity that you what? care about. 
This is what every country in the world is best at, part two. And if you haven't seen part one, <sighs> you should go watch that first. But we left off with Lithuania, Let's which buy has it. the fastest public Wi-Fi speeds in the world at 16.6 funny story. megabytes I was the leader of Liechtenstein for Hopping one day. over to Luxembourg, we I discovered have that they million. have the highest <laughs> annual wages in the world. Get us. Thank you. Love ya three is best at part two and if you haven't seen part one you should go watch that first but we left off with lithuania which has the fastest public wi-fi speeds in the world at 16.6 megabytes per second hopping over to luxembourg we discover that they have the highest annual wages in the world the average worker here earns sixty thousand three hundred sixty nine dollars per year yeah. far away madagascar has the highest commercial bank prime lending rate at 61 percent and malaysia has wait what does that mean what has the highest commercial bank prime lending rate at highest commercial bank pride lending what he just made up a word at 61 percent and malaysia has the world's tallest twin buildings the patronus towers at 452 meters high interest each. rate at uh, the same time the Maldives has the lowest wow. highest point among all countries two, two meters. meters above sea level is as far up as you can get without but probably being shit in a building tourism. meanwhile mali has the least amount of police officers per capita only 38 officers per 100 oh, yeah, 000 people malta is ranked as the most generous country in the world since 83 percent of their population donates to some kind of charity oh there's only rich fuckers there a lot of german youtubers live in malta i think motana black is thinking about this because there's no taxes and the marshall islands has the highest percentage of their territory made up of water 98.47 percent nice. back over in mauritania we can discover the most islamic country in the world it's estimated that nearly 100 wow, percent of the country's population I never knew are that. muslims and tiny mauritius has the highest percentage of hindus outside of south asia consisting of 48.5 percent of their population Mexico is ranked as the hardest working country in the world, where each worker spends an average of 2,246 hours working per year, or about 25% of the entire time that exists in a full year. Micronesia has the highest coastline to area ratio, 8,706 meters of coastline per square kilometer of land area, and Moldova has the highest rate of people leaving cities, since their urban population had a negative 1.5% growth rate last year. Monaco, That's weird. Meanwhile, is the most densely populated country in the world with 19,000 people per square kilometer, uh. while Mongolia is conveniently the least populated country. I once flew over Mongolia, I flew like this, and it was eight hours of just desert, man. It was so beautiful. Thank you, with Diamond. Less than Thank two you. people per square kilometer two on average. Per kilometer. Montenegro has the highest smoking rate in the world, oh. where each adult smokes 4,125 cigarettes per year on average, Dude. while Morocco is the world's largest producer of couscous. Myanmar is home to the world's largest book, which is 1,460 pages long and set in stone, while Namibia is home to the largest wealth inequality between her citizens in the world. Oh. Nauru is the world's most obese country on average. Sure. Nepal is the most Hindu country in the world where 81.3% of the population identify as Lazy such and the Netherlands has the highest average height in the world where men oh, are just over I 6 never knew feet that. tall and women are 5 feet 7 but true every time I meet some from the Netherlands like ParadoxCon they are the fucking giants inches dude. funny enough New Zealand has the largest number of sheep per capita with about 10 sheep for every human in the country while Niger has both the highest birth rate in the world and the youngest average age of citizens just 15 15.1 years old. Neighboring Nigeria, unfortunately, has the most deaths related to HIV slash AIDS. About 210,000 reported in 2014 alone. That's a lot North of fucking Korea, deaths. meanwhile, is considered the most heavily militarized country on Earth, since over 30% of the country's population is a member of the military. Yeah, but they throw fucking rocks, so I don't know. At the same time, Norway is apparently a fantastic place to be because it's ranked as the most democratic country in the world. I fucking love Norway. I'm legit. I fucking mean this. Like, in the next 10 years, I'm thinking about Norway and Iceland and, and stuff. I'm thinking about this shit. If the world goes to shit even more, and it will, I don't know. Like, living, like, up here, nice internet and shit. I could think about that shit the happiest country in the world and has the highest standard of living in the world. Norway is beautiful, has the man. Greatest perform if you live in Norway, man, you're lucky, dude. Performance at the Field Hockey World Cup since they've won it four times, while Panama has the most merchant ships registered to it of any country, 6,323 ships. Yeah. 
Papua New Guinea is considered the most linguistically diverse country in the world since over 850 huh. languages are spoken there today, and they have the highest cannabis use at nearly 30% <laughs> of the population. <laughs> Paraguay is ranked as the most positive country in the world, while Peru has the- What does that mean? What positive AIDS test? What the, what the fuck is that statement? The most positive country, what the fuck? Largest Native American population in the world at 45% of the total population. The Philippines has the greatest performance at the World Cup of Pool since they've won oh. three times. And uh -huh. Poland has the best performance at the Motorcycle Speedway Whoa. World Cup since they've won that. Right, that's the most, who I gives a fuck? I have been watching you since you had around 100 subs on YouTube, gotten myself a girlfriend for a year and broke up with her two months ago. As I live in a village, I don't have any friends but i ain't sad i've come to terms with that but you help me three well just leave the village what the fuck are you doing just just leave the village mate thank you for the sub six times portugal Just is the earliest country to outlaw life imprisonment back in 1884 mm. cutter has the most co2 emissions per capita at 44 tons per person per year I thought and China. romania has the highest home ownership rate in the world with 96.4 percent of the population owning their home russia That's has both the cool. world's largest arsenal of nuclear weapons and the most world chess championship victories while rwanda has the highest percentage of women employed in the labor force 86 percent of all workers employed here are women san marino has the most motor vehicles per capita with 1263 vehicles per 1000 people and saudi arabia has the highest military spending per capita since they spent six thousand nine hundred and nine dollars per i always heard that saudi arabia is really doing military they're buying a lot of german guns but, but why what are they going to do if, i know they're intervening like in yemen and shit but and they're protecting against Iran or some shit, but what? they're not really doing much. Yeah, Yemen. Yeah, yeah. They have a cold war with Iran. Citizen per year on their military. Should For Saudi Arabia win that since they have the infinite US money? only spends $1,859 per citizen. Serbia has the best performance at the FINA World Water Polo Championship with four total what? victories. Sierra Explain that shit, Makoni. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Leon has the lowest life expectancy in the world at just 44.4 wow, years. Fuck. And Singapore has the world's lowest birth rate, the lowest infant mortality rate, and the lowest opiates usage in the world. Meanwhile, Slovakia is the largest per capita producer of cars in the world since they produce one well, car never per six about that. people in the country every year. Slovenia has the highest high school graduation rate at 96%. Somalia is ranked as the world's most corrupt country, and South Africa... Is yeah, okay, he said least corrupt. Denmark was least corrupt, yeah. ...the world's largest producer of platinum at 80% of the global supply. Over in South Korea, they have the fastest internet speed in the world with an average connection speed of 26.7 megabytes Korea. per second. South Sudan has the lowest like literacy rate at only 27% <coughs> of their population. Spain is the world's largest... Everything, uh, every time it goes to Africa, it's just negative. ...producer of olives. And meanwhile, Sri Lanka has the highest suicide rate in the world. According to the Global Innovation Index, Sudan has the lowest innovation rate in the world, and Suriname is the most forested left. country, with over 90% of the country covered by forest. Swaziland has the world's highest HIV infection rate, with over 28% of the population currently carrying the disease. At the same time, Sweden has the highest number of parental leave days offered to workers, with women allowed 68 weeks and men allowed 18 weeks. Damn, Meanwhile, nice. Switzerland is... That's a very good law to make people have children again. It's a good law. ...the most expensive country in the world to live in. Syria is the most dangerous country in the world to live in, with the lowest national Wonder growth why. rate. And Taiwan has the best overall student performance in mathematics. Tajikistan has the world's highest average elevation at 3,196 meters above Such sea level. And Thailand is home to the most victories in the Miss International Queen, a transgender women's beauty contest which they've won. <laughs> oh, they're always winning the transgender pagans? 
Well, if if all the contestants are from your and country, three times. Timor Leste is the most Christian country in the world, with over ninety nine percent of the population. Wow, because of Portuguese uh, colonies, right? And identifying as such, Tonga is the most Mormon country in the world, with over sixty percent of the population identifying as such. And Tunisia has the most strict gun control laws in the world, with only zero point one guns owned per every one hundred people. Across the Mediterranean and Turkey, they consume the most tea per capita in the world. Dude, Turkey drinks more tea than the British. Six point eight seven though. kilograms per person per year. Turkish tea is very good. Turkmenistan, meanwhile, has the current highest GDP growth rate in the world at ten point three percent. Tuvalu Georgia. has the lowest number of immigrants Tuvalu. at just one hundred and forty eight people. Yeah, because no one knows it exists. And Uganda is the world's most entrepreneurial country. Do they know the way to the? To the with 28% of the country's current workforce having started their own business. Own business. Ukraine is fascinatingly, oh. I know, the world's largest producer of sunflower seeds, oh. and the United Arab Emirates has the highest proportion of men in the oh, world. Fuck that. There are 2.19 men in the fuck country that. for every one woman. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom has the highest number of books published per capita, oh. with one book being published for every cool. 355 people per cool. year. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the United States leads the world in both most privately owned firearms per capita with 88.8 firearms owned for Holy every shit! 88.8% per as per dead. Yeah. 88% own firearms? That's what happened yesterday in Mafia Man. Holy moly. Dude, that shows you how big the lobby is. The money you make. If 88% of the population buys something, oh, whoa, 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 that's like fucking iPhone level shit. 100 people and the Jeez. highest number of fatal lawnmower accidents. <laughs> that makes sense. The fucking Americans. With 69 Americans <laughs> nice. killed by lawnmowers each year on average. How the fuck is that possible? What the hell? <laughs> what? How do you die from a lawnmower? I alone have four guns. <laughs> Uruguay is home to this piece of land, which is the southernmost northernmost point on land. Uzbekistan is the world's largest double landlocked country. While Dude, I know nothing about Uzbekistan. Nothing. I don't know the capital. I don't know the flag. I don't know how they look like. I know nothing and absolutely nothing. I know where it is, but there's nothing. Vanuatu is where you're most likely to be the victim of a natural disaster. Meanwhile, Vatican City is both the smallest country in the That's world beautiful. and home to the largest immigrant population, 100%. And Venezuela is home to both the world's largest oil reserves and the world's cheapest gas. Currently at just one- Isn't that weird that Venezuela has the most oil in the world? And they just- so, someone, <coughs> someone destroyed the country. Not anymore, still ranked two, but isn't it weird that this country got- Get all these political problems introduced by one cent per liter. Who knows? At the same time, Vietnam is home to the world's largest reserve military force at three million soldiers. Yeah, man, they're ready, they're ready for Vietnam part two, bro. Yemen has the highest gender inequality in the world and the lowest GDP growth rate at negative 28.1% currently. Zambia has the largest number of Rhodesian giraffes. And finally, Zimbabwe has the world's highest unemployment rate, currently sitting around 95% of the country. I know that a lot of these statistics seem fairly depressing and it's unfortunate that the world we live in is full of inequality and unfair opportunities here comes if the you want to help but here comes mafia interesting video very interesting